Well, what exactly is this device? Well, it's an electrogravitic implosion propulsion system. We'll be able to realize Tesla's uh, dream of trans uh, wireless transmission of energy, and it's right here in a, in a very miniature form. Well, can you tell me a little bit about these devices down here? Well, these yeah. are basically coaxial magnetron tubes, and what they do is run inverse, and they create a uh, vortice up here that can be constructive or destructive in its uh, use. Then here we have T. Towson Brown style plate capacitor. So obviously we're going to use point ending vector and charge by the edge. And then we have a delta impedance matching antenna. Any, ener any ambient energy that strikes this dish bounces back out to a focal point. At that focal point it begins to spread again and that makes a vortice out here. So we're really imploding energy through the system, but it can't leave. It stays out here in the near field in a rotating vortice. In fact, this is basic building block for wormhole technologies. Oh, okay. So this is really kind of a repulsion system then for... It's an implosive system. It's pulling. It's tractoring. It's uh, the same exact concept if you read Bill Beatty's Anti-Gravity Underground Energy Sucking Antennas and you read his, uh, his uh, thesis there and look at this antenna, you'll have exactly that concept. This is an energy sucking antenna and it takes us with it because it becomes a no moving part. It's the environment that we want to rotate through our device, not a mechanical device rotating because that, that kills it. That, uh, you can't become over unity, you can't have anti-gravity when you have moving parts. The, the environment has to be the moving part and convey you and your machine to that point. This would be the wing that this type of a device would go in. So this would be a complete uh, implosion propulsion anti-gravitational Now this problem. wing is essentially similar to the device that you have mounted on your truck that, exactly. that has the fuel mileage boost. Yes, exactly. And that was simply to, to demonstrate an application of where this technology is applicable. Okay. Well, this is amazing technology. Now one Thank of the things you. I should ask is, is there a place on the web that people can find more information about uh, Yes, this? they can go to uh, uh, gr uh, quantumgravitics.tripod.com and if they want to get into how I made the discovery, they have to go to ancientgravitics.tripod.com. That would be the Dogu code, which is where all of the technology came from, uh, a translation of information uh, that came through an ancient figurine uh, these were unearthed in Japan. There was approximately 4,500 of them. And each and every one of them is a schematic. They're blueprints depicting this information. For instance, this symbol here you can see is the impeller. This is an implosive aircraft. And then here is the ram implosion wing based on this symbol. So this is really an interpretation then? I see what well, most definitely, but it becomes rather obvious that this is what it is. This is discussing quantum, uh, quantum physics, it's discussing bioengineering, it's discussing by its shape and the way it's dressed, atomic dress states, it's discussing an, uh, an hourglass mode, which is what occurs in an optically pumped cavity QED waveguide, which is what is represented here. Oh, okay. This is an Everlast flashlight. It has a little magnet inside, and you usually shake it back and forth through the coil, and 20, 20 times of shaking it through the coil will charge the, the uh, batteries, which will allow it to run for 30 minutes. Now, this is like the inductive flashlight that people may have seen on late night TV. Exactly. Right? And what I'm going to do is re re I've already removed the magnet, but I'm going to remove the batteries as well and demonstrate that the light is still running. Obviously, it's being inductively charged by the circuitry you see here. Oh, so this device is actually generating power even though yes. it's not... Yes, can you see the... Can you see the... Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, it does... It's quite remarkable. It does burn much more brilliantly when you uh, have the batteries in it, but I wanted to show, you know, that at least it's a little bit of proof of concept so this, that it is functioning. This large device has a background energy field around it, yes. even when it's not technically turned on or spinning exactly. up or whatever you might call it. Exactly.